Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Linda from Makeup Maniac by Linda after a very 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 long time filming a video for you all and I should apologize for being irregular on YouTube lately but I have got valid reasons for that and that is I am undergoing my exams, not really exams you know like if you are connected with me in my Facebook lives and Facebook page then you might know that I am having a coursework deadline or like you know you can even say that semester finals for this term and yeah i know that's a long intro but please bear with me if you want to know that why i have been not filming much videos and i will try to be regular after my exams and so but studies comes first and today's topic is going to be about um, winter skincare. I know you all have been requesting me for many kinds of videos, tutorials and winter season is here right now and this is of course the wedding season but I am really very sorry that I'm not being able to film any tutorial this season of wedding and as I said that I am very busy. I have been doing a lot of live videos lately to stay connected with you all but I just wanted to speak out to you guys so that you know that what is the reason behind me not filming and today's video is as requested from you guys of course I have tried to keep your request today I'll show you how I take care of my skin in winter and that is a very much needed video that I believe and I have been having you know lately my skin has behaved in weird ways and I have tried to keep or maintain it in my different ways I have tried out but this is the routine that I'm going to share that have worked for me in this changing season or even winter and you can see that there are a few breakout marks over here still now and I have attended many events and all but that like you know for that is the reason that I had breakouts and all for all the makeup going on and stuff but despite of having all those I think by now that I have uh, at least you know acceptable skin for winter so if you want to see how I get flawless skin even in this winter or what is my winter skincare routine that I basically try to follow you know the other after skincare routines are that I follow every day that that includes the moisturizing and toning and stuff but including exfoliating and scrubbing I try to follow that at least twice a week if not at least then once will also do for you so I will not make this video much more lengthy it has already been a very long intro but let's just start into the main part of the video and the first step that I'll show you is exfoliating my skin. About the winter problems of skin that we all face, like let it be oily skin or dry skin, all skin types have problems during the season change and so. So the main problems that I face having oily skin is that my skin gets dull and I have dry patches around all over my face like you know my skin is super oily during summer and so but during this time my skin um, dead skin cells come out and then I have dry patches here and there and you know it gets all over uneven and dullness comes into my face so the brightness fades away. For this what I do every week at least as I said is that I try to exfoliate my skin properly and scrub my skin so that way the dead skin cells go away and the new skin rejuvenates and it becomes fresh and gives me a glow from within. So for that I'll be showing you a ready made mask or as you can say ready packs that we can get in the malls and you can also try out the DIY masks. I have a DIY mask that I'll link down below and I'll also try to show another DIY mask if not anytime soon then later as I you know as I get free or so but for today I'll be showing you a mask and this is the Freeman mask so this is a charcoal mask which I'll be using to demonstrate scrubbing and exfoliating today for now and as I was saying that I also had breakouts so the products I'll be featuring today are actually that worked for me you don't necessarily need to use those you can try out the products that suit you so just for the sake of the demonstration and saying what this mask will do or what it does for me is that it removes the impurities from my skin because charcoal naturally is said to remove impurities and detox the skin like naturally so for that i prefer stuffs like this that has very i know that this is not a natural it has chemicals and so but you can try out the natural charcoals i will try to you know make a video with the natural charcoal and some kind of home remedy i'll try to do that soon but as it says it's a dual action purifying mask it's supposed to be polishing you know it's supposed it, it contains black sugar and charcoal so which will scrub and exfoliate at the same time and this removes the dullness from my skin 
this this brand has many other masks depending on skin types and so but i have chosen this as this is for all skin types so you can choose any one that you prefer but as i said that you exfoliate so i'll be using this today now i'll be showing you how i apply the mask on my face all over in an even way and you'll have to keep it for five or seven minutes so just opening and taking little by little on my hand i'll be just applying it it's a very thick kind of thing. So just to add on, don't freak out if this feels hot on your face, like if, if it releases warmth or so, like a little bit of heat. So don't freak out, that's normal for this mask. This will remove oil from my face but since it's winter and all of our skin gets drying the best part about this is that this does not over dry my skin. So this is the reason that I choose this mask specifically. And as I have been lazy these days to take skin care so my skin has been behaving very weirdly. I did not even get the time to make those DIY masks or so so I have just been using this one of my favorite masks. Apply it how you would normally apply any of your other masks. I have just applied the face for the demonstration. I have just avoided the neck. You can also apply on the neck and leave it for 5-7 to seven minutes. It stays on the direction just as you might you know, wait for it to dry and then we'll show how to wash it you know, the proper way. I go to the base and sink I'm going to show you the face wash that I'm going to use today this is my Garnier pure active face wash and I'm not really aware if this is available here in Bangladesh and I'm sorry that I could not include any other face wash in this video that's really available over here um, I do like the Neutrogena clear face wash that is for acne and pimples but I have run out of that so I'm sorry I couldn't feature this in the video but this the reason that I'm showing is that this has worked on my skin as a miracle I don't know if this is available here in Bangladesh I got it from Thailand and specifically from um, 7-eleven in Bangkok so I got two of these I'm almost running out of this this has been worked like a magic on my skin and this claims to reduce 96% oil and this removes pollution after using this for a few days this has actually stopped my pimples and rather even stopped the ones that were there. So now I'll be washing my face off using this. First wet your face with a little bit of water and then using your fingers rub your face gently in circular motions. Also scrub your lip with the mask. Scrub for about a 30 second to a minute. And then you can wash your face off gently with water. So we have cleaned, washed our face and patted our face dry. You can clearly see a difference in softness and smoothness of your face if you can actually feel it. I don't know what this mask has but this does miracle for me. I have and I can feel the softness. So now going to the next part and that is toning. Toning is very much important for this step after scrubbing or exfoliating because this is gonna minimize the pores of your face and otherwise if you have open pores that might cause to catch dirt and that might cause breakouts so toning is very important you can use your any toner that you have is your favorite let it be body shop tea tree so today i'm using my boots cucumber two in one cleanser and toner so i'm using this today just a little bit not much needed Now the next part for winter is very essential again and that is moisturizing. I always keep out moisturizing whenever it's summer but for winter even my skin as I said gets uneven and tends to have patchy parts so I use a moisturizer that is ideal for my extremely oily skin but at the same time keeps my skin hydrated. So for that what I choose is aloe vera gel. You can get this aloe vera gel this is a nature's republic i got it from boshan city you can get it anywhere or like many online pages has it too 
you can use this aloe vera gel or any other aloe vera gel that you prefer you can even use a natural aloe vera gel or any other moisturizer that suits your skin perfectly Skin and face care does not just end here. Lips is another essential part of our face for winter and many of us tend to have dry, chapped or cracked lips for winter. So what I would suggest you to get is a very, very, very good quality lip balm. You can go for a Nivea, Vaseline, anything that you prefer or brands like this. These are not very much easily available but I prefer these personally so I prefer to show these. This is the Body Shop Born Lippy lip balm and this is my EOS so it depends on which one you prefer which one you're comfortable with you can also go for glycerin or Vaseline those two also work super for your skin but I didn't do not have Vaseline at the moment to show you so I'm using my body shop born lippy at the moment this will prevent my lips from being cracked all day so now going back to body care so that was a part of face care done for you in winter and not to forget that our hands and body are also very essential to take care. So for that first what I would like to show you is very important for me. I don't know you might ignore or you might not need. I feel that this part of my hand, the palm especially, tends to dry out very fast. I don't know maybe because we wash our this part of hand many times a day. So for that what I prefer is a very good hand cream. It depends on as I said you can also use your regular lotion for this purpose. You necessarily don't need to buy a separate one but this is my routine. So I use the Victoria's Secret Ultimate Hand Cream. This is the coconut milk one. I got mine from Bangkok. You can get this in MAC Cosmetics BD in Plaza Air. I also use this Inecto hand cream. This is also something that I got from Bangkok. So this is a hand cream. I'll be showing you how I use this. This is just, I take a little bit here and then I just rub around my hand and nails. So this is specifically for your hand and nails and this will not be sticky, you know, that would distract you from other work of your day. You can use this after your body lotion or before, depends on whenever you are willing to. I carry this around my purse for the whole day. Um, I'm not going to apply the lotion all over my body now, but I'm going to show you what I use regularly. So there are two options for body care or skin care, the whole body. You can use body oils, glycerins or body lotion. The lotions that I normally use are moisturizing at the same time, but I don't like the feel of stickiness on my Skin. So I go for my Victoria's Secret lotions that are like this. I love the fragrances of these Victoria's Secrets and also the Bath and Body ones. So these are available on online pages and many pages. You can order them. I got mine from Bangkok as usual. So now going back to the the next options that you might prefer for your whole body is that you can prefer a body oil or you can go for glycerin. So the body oil that I have been using is another product of Inecto. I have been loving the skincare products from Inecto. I got it from Watson's. No, I'm sorry. I got it from Boots in Bangkok and I prefer to use this all over my body. This has such a nice smell. Um, you would be really lucky enough if, if you can order this from online. I don't know if it's available, but this is not necessary for you. As I said, I'm showing you options that I can that you can use. And the other option is very much easily available and very much loved by many of us. And this is glycerin. So this does not need to be these specific brands. You can use any other brands. Um, how I use glycerin is that I use a percentage of 60-40 and then I use glycerin all over my body. This is also very much good for your lips. This makes your lips supple and if you can actually tolerate the stickiness of glycerin for a few days, then you'll get habituated and you'll love glycerin. So this was my routine for winter skincare. I have showed you every bits and pieces of how I take care of my skin and face during winter time when it's very much needed. So I hope this video was somehow helpful to you. If this video was helpful then don't forget to share it to your friends and family. Let them know about my video and help me grow. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you are new then welcome to my channel. If you're old then thank you so much for being with me. And I promise to be regular after my exams. Keep me in your prayers always and do support me like this like you always have been. I just wanted to let you know that I love you all. Thank you so much. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.